Hello everyone. Welcome to TN Blue tutorial series. In this video, I will show you some steps to create and launch two types of shirts which are normal t-shirt and all over print Hawaii shirt, like these two product here. Let's start with the basic t-shirt with the front print area. We will start by importing a product to TN Blue. Go to product base page. Click on the import product button. A pop-up will show up for you to choose products to import. I will choose t-shirt from provider named Dreamship. Hit the import button to add it to your product base list. As you can see, the fulfillment provider has provided us with some ready-made mock-ups. It doesn't look attractive enough, so I will upload my own mock-up. After uploading an image as a mock-up, click on the Add Print Area button to add the correct print area to the mock-up. Don't forget to click Save. I will follow the same steps with the other mock-up image. In case you want to sell t-shirt with many colors like this shirt, but don't want to add too many mockups for each variant, open mockup editor and enable background by variant color toggle. Remember that if you want to use this feature, your mockup image should contain a transparent background so we can see through the color of the background and choose the default background color. Moving on to the next steps. Let's prepare an artwork that can be printed on this shirt. Here. I have prepared a Photoshop file with the same size as the front print area. This is very important to follow the provider's guide because you don't want some sizing problems when sending orders to providers. The next step is to upload cliparts to TN Blue. From the home page, go to Assets and choose Cliparts Categories. Here's where you can upload your personalized clipart. Clipart category is a collection of images that can be an alternative to your design. I want my customers can personalize two options which are cat breed and cat eyes, so that I will create two categories. Go ahead and click on the new category button here. I will name this new category as normal t-shirt cat breed. This will be the parent category. Then click Create. Click on the New Category button again to create a subcategory. I will name it as Ragdoll and its parent category is Normal T-Shirt Cat Breed. Click on the drag and drop zone to upload cliparts for this category. Here are some ragdoll cat images that I prepared. Remember to click save. Follow the same steps with the other cat breed. I will follow the same steps to create cliparts categories for cat eyes. And after creating successfully, these categories will show up on category tree on the left. The next step is uploading the artwork I've created earlier. From the artwork page, go ahead and hit the PSD group to template button. I will name it as Cat Mom Shirt. This step is where we need to focus to set up personalized options on our shirts. From the Cat Breed layer, click on the pencil icon here. I will choose one group of clipart categories then mark it as required. Then I will find the Cat Breed category by typing in the box. There is it. Now click on Show Clipart under the box to see if there is any clipart that I need to resize or reposition.
With this cat eyes layer, I will follow the same steps. Now, I want my customers can add name of their cat. Then I will add a text layer by clicking on the text button. Move the text here, under the cat face. Then click on the pencil button, then enable the allow personalized toggle. I will add the option title here. Add placeholder text displayed in the text box. And change the preview text to the cat's name, then change some text font and size. Just one last step. You need to combine the artwork with the product base into a campaign. Each campaign launching from t Blue will become a correspondent product on Shopify for selling. Click on the new campaign button. Add your campaign title and click save. Then choose the t-shirt you've imported earlier. Print areas from the t-shirt will show up. Then add the artwork we've created to the front print area. In the campaign preview section, there are all available variants of this t-shirt from the provider. You can hide some variants you don't want to sell by going back to step 1. Hit the pencil icon on the product name here. And click on the selected variant to hide it. You can also delete some mock-up images you don't like by clicking on the delete icon on the image preview. Lovey dovey. Your campaign is ready to be launched. Go ahead and click on the launch button and wait for a few seconds. Now you can check it on your store front and start promoting it. Moving on to the next product. We will go through the basic steps to set up an all-over print Hawaii shirt with personalized artwork and mock-ups. The first step is to prepare mock-up images. I have prepared a folder for mock-up images. There are front and back mock-ups with the background. Two folders for front and back images for each part of the shirt. These parts will become the mask of the print area layer. And two transparent images showing only the pattern of the shirt. Moving on to the next step. Create a product base. Go to product base page and click on new product button. Then fill in all the required information here. I choose it from a provider named Merchise. Then at Fulfillment Catalog ID, you can find this ID in Provider Catalog and Guidelines on their website, or just directly ask their support staff. Here we are in the Product Edit page. Now I will add some print areas corresponding to each part of the shirt. The size I created here are just for relative examples. You should follow the requirement and guidelines of the fulfillment provider you selected. Then click on the upload button here to upload my mock-up image with background. Click on the pencil icon on the image to go to mock-up editor. Firstly, I'm gonna add print area for the front part. Click on the Add Print Area button and choose Front. 
Later, when I add artworks to product base in campaign, artworks will show up on mockup according to the size and position of print areas. It's time to use those masks I've created earlier. Click on Browse to upload the mask. Choose the mask which represent the front side. Now, click on Edit Mask to adjust the mask in order to fit with the plain shirt in the back. I will add the rest print area and attach each part with a suitable mask. This process need a little bit of attention. But believe me, it will save you a lot of time and work in the future. Then follow the same step with the mock-up for the backside. Finally I will add the transparent images showing only the details and pattern of the shirt to these two mock-up. Okay, now I got all of these mock-up images ready. Let's move to the next step. With this Hawaii shirt, I will use some pirates images as the pattern and let my customers add their name on the back. Here are some artworks I've prepared. One PSD file for the front. Another one for the back with some pirates logo and black background near the shoulders. One file for both sleeves of the shirt, and one for the black collar. From the artwork page, click on the new artwork button. Select the Hawaii shirt from product base, and choose the front print area. I name it as Hawaii shirt front. Then click on the PSD button to upload the corresponding PSD file. Don't forget to click save. I will follow the same steps with the remaining PSD files. I've got all of my artwork created here. With the artwork for the back, my plan is to let customers add their name on it under the logo. So that I will add a text layer. Move it under the pirate logo. Click on the pencil icon on the text layer. And choose allow personalized similar to the t-shirt i will add the option title placeholder text and adjusted style finally the most difficult part is over just one more step then your campaign will ready to work for you. You need to combine those artworks with the product base, which is the Hawaii shirt you created from step 2. Choose new campaign button in the campaign page. And add campaign title. Finish these two steps we show here. Choose a product base. As you can see, a list of print areas showed. I'm gonna assign each one to an artwork.
Finally, the campaign for personalized Hawaii shirt is here. All we need to do now is go to the rocket and click launch. And that's gonna be a beautiful all-over print Hawaii shirt with the personalized text on your Shopify store. This is the end of this tutorial video. Check out the overall instruction in the description. If you guys have any question, feel free to contact us. Don't forget to like and subscribe Tea and Blue YouTube channel to get more tutorial videos in the future. And these are some videos you also may need.